Hi guys, it's Domingo here. If you have a few computers at home and want to back things up, well, you can get a bunch of external hard drives like this one right here or are for a NAS server, which connect to a network and provide storage to multiple devices at a time. When it comes to NAS server though, you can expect a lot more than just storage. And the prime example of that is what I have today, the DStation 1513 Plus from Synology. The server comes with 5 drive bay, and that means it can offer up to 20 terabyte of storage space when used with 5 4 terabyte hard drive. Now, the 5 bay is very significant because you can put this hard drive in a special configuration called RAID to offer protection against one or even two hard drive failure at the same time. You can also replace a hard drive even when the server is still running. So, let's try it. Here we go, you can see it's very easy to pull a hard drive out. Note how I can chain the drive without any tool at all. Also note that I just chained a 2 terabyte drive to a 3 terabyte drive. And that's right, that's another cool thing about this server. It allows you to use hard drive of different capacity together. Now if you worry that the hard drive can be pulled out too easily, don't. Because each of the drive bay come with a lock that you can use to securely keep them in one place. And if you choose to lock them, make sure you do not lose this key. On the back, the server comes with four USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports and two eSATA ports to add even more storage to it. Even more, you can actually use printers, Wi-Fi dongle, or even TV tuner with these USB ports. Now, up here, there are two big smart fans. Smart because they work well together. If one is removed or stopped working, the other will pick up the speed to compensate. And finally, take a look at this. The server has not one, not two, not even three, but four gigabit Ethernet ports. And now, let's move to the cooler part of the server, its web interface, which works just like a native operating system. There you go, all familiar with a start button, the start menu, and the taskbar. You can also open multiple windows and run multiple tasks at the same time within the web page. Now, the server comes with a packet center, which is very similar to an app store. Here we can add, remove, and update packages that add more feature to the server. Now, my favorites are, of course, those that have something to do with entertainment, such as the download station, video station, photo station, or the popular Plex Media Server. This package allows for streaming content stored on the server as well as from online services. You can stream to local devices as well as remote mobile devices. So let's try it with the iPad right here. Here you go, as you can see, there's a lot of online services to choose from, and you can add and remove them from within the apps. You can also easily play back an episode of South Park, which is my favorite show, or of CNET TV, which is your favorite. Let's pick a random CNET video and see how it goes. Here we go, very smooth, no lag. What? Who are these guys? Come on, CNET, seriously, his English really sucks. He's good looking, though, and give him that. The server has a lot to offer, as you can see, and in my testing is very fast, enough to justify the current price of some $870 with no storage included. To learn more about the server, check out the full review at seat.com, and to find out more about just how amazing my English is, well, keep playing this video in loop, or you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Either way, it's very good for you. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this has been the first look at the DStation DS1713 Plus from Synology.